let me tell y'all something. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm going to stop messing with y'all on Facebook because listen, all I did was ask one question and y'all cutting up already. Okay. Alicia Brown, of course, founder, um, Alicia Brown Productions. I, I'm so done with y'all. Y'all are funny. Um, all I asked y'all was, you walk into a blind date, what's an immediate turn off? Y'all showed out, okay? And of course, you know, we're in the process of recruiting for a casting call. We're doing a promo reel and we're getting our characters lined up for conscious dating TV show. Y'all, if this is how y'all start now with your answers to this one question, it's going to be a funny show. And I'm here for the shenanigans because y'all ain't right. Okay. Again, you walk into a blind date. What's the immediate turn off? Y'all had me cracking up. One person said a man with kids. Okay. Um, they don't do short men or men with rotted teeth. And that came up as a lot of questions, a lot of answers. Um, I, I can I, I'm I'm feeling y'all on a lot of stuff on, on the rotted teeth. I, I got y'all. Um Someone said dirty, unkept shoes. And you know what? I hadn't really thought about it, but yeah, because if if you coming on a blind date, you do sort of want to put your best foot forward or just a date period, you want to put your best foot forward. So if your shoes dirty, God only, yeah, you didn't, you weren't really thinking. Um, well, that's going to tell you a lot about their habits for life. Now, someone brought this up and you're dead on talking about hating people based on race religion or ethnicity yep that would be a turn off for me too someone said someone clearly not putting any thought or effort into his appearance that answer came up a lot you guys um but this right here this one two comments took me out and this one i was just like are you serious i've heard of it before but i never knew anyone that i knew personally to say this answer they know me personally um they said she had a guy try to force her to buy a certain meal so he could use the coupon. And they were at Applebee's. And she offered ahead of time to pay for her own meal. And that one just struck me a certain way. Because I'm like, you know, how y'all on your dates do your agreements? That's your business, okay? As my cousin Tabitha Brown would say, yes, I adopted her as my cousin. Because you know. Just because you got the last name Brown don't mean we related, but that's one. Okay, you can become a relative. I, yeah, we'll, sw so we'll swap a top at the Brown any day for one of our other relatives. I ain't gonna put nobody else's name out there, but I'm just saying. Um, anyway, but as my cousin Tabitha at the Brown would say, that's your business. However, the woman said she could pay for her own meal. She didn't mind. Then apparently you said you got it. But then you're going to for, try to force her to buy a certain meal so you can use your coupon at Applebee's. Boo. If it's like that, just let her go and pay for her own meal. We too old to be sitting up here where I got to order a certain thing. No. For your Anywho. Other uh, comments y'all did? I'm, I'm dead on. Arrogance, rudeness, pretentiousness, bringing a friend without informant. First of all, if we on a date, what you bringing a friend for? I don't care who paying. Now, that'd be like you bringing your mama. No, no, but, but we ain't doing that. Yellow or missing teeth. I feel y'all. Um, y'all kept coming up with that that teeth thing. So y'all, what's going on out here? Dennis, y'all need to maybe do some ads or something about dating. If this tooth thing, rotten teeth, yellow teeth, missing teeth keep coming up. Um, appearance. Well, I hadn't seen this one yet. They talk about watch him for a few minutes to see how he treats the staff. Ooh, and if they're rude, then no. Okay, the smart point on. Another one y'all kept saying was smoking, smoking, smoking. And, but the ones that took me out, I ain't see this one yet either. So I'm gonna have to um, go back to yeah. Y'all men though, when y'all men start answering, I'm like, oh. <laughs> So this one, I can understand, and it's no offense to anybody, but this is from his perspective. The man said, if they're the same gender as him. Well, that is one of the things you would need to make sure. If you're same sex or if you're opposite sex, you expect, you know, you put that out in front, who who showing up for the date? So I guess if he's a guy that don't like men 
and you're looking for a woman to show up, if you come to a date and see another dude there, that's going to be a problem. Okay, but here's the one I got to find my dude. Because when he answered this question, he took me out. Actually, when he said it, I was laughing because I'm like, well, dang. This is what dude said. I agree with well, a lot of his. Some of his, I didn't. But, you know, that's his business. We ain't got to all agree. He said, I quote, extra long fingernails, big hoop earrings you can play basketball with, <laughs> tall women, overweight women, women with no job, texting the whole time, got a casualty list bigger than World War II, so much makeup on, looks like a rainbow clown, just to name a few. Mm. Now, overweight women, tall women, hey, I don't even take offense to that because you like what you like. So just like it's it's people that love plus size women, it's people that don't like them. They People that can't stand women that look like a bone, somebody like them. So we all have preferences. That's all good. But look, extra long fingernails, big hoop earrings you could play basketball with. <laughs> Tall women, I don't know what that's about, but as you can tell, there's some women that didn't want short men. So it's what it is. Texting the whole time. And you know what? A lot of times in this era, we do have that problem. You know, I find myself when I'm like disengaged or sometimes just as a habit, um, I retreat to my phone. Um, so yeah, th those are little things that sometimes have been normalized that maybe they shouldn't be. So I, I felt him on that one. Calorie list bigger than World War II. You know what? I can film on that too, because it's one of the things that, you know, you see in the dating world, some people are just broken and you are the one that they're looking to fill the time with. So they want to give you the openness. At, of course, dating is learning people, you know, learning who you are. And then, you know, either this is just a fun date or we're, we're, we don't belong together or whatever. There's a full gamut of reasons why people date, but I'm just like, dude, you ain't supposed to say on the date. Everything we don't want to hear about all your exes and oh she did it, cause honey if you give me a list first of all I don't want to hear all this and then people that everything is always about what someone else did you probably the problem because you're not taking any responsibility that you did anything wrong in a relationship or you weren't perfect either when it's always the other person those are red flags boo so I felt them on that um and so much makeup on looks like a clown. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but you know what? Some of the ish I've seen, I don't even blame you on that one, dude. You got eyelashes that look like windshield wipers. You got makeup on looking like a Vegas showgirl. It's a reason why a stage person has that make, much makeup on, not people in everyday life. So I don't blame them. Um, yeah, but you know what? Y'all showed out. Y'all really showed out. I mean, dirty fingernails, body odor. I mean, some things. Come on, dude. Come on. I mean, you got body odor. Something. Yeah. Rudeness on the phone. Yeah, I, I get it. Smoking. I get it. Bed rooming. I get it. So I get it. But y'all were funny. And I'm a little scared to find out the next question I ask, what, how y'all going to answer? Because, you know, these are just going to get more more complex as we go down. But y'all funny. Y'all y'all funny. You know, if I put pictures to some of the things y'all said that, that would make you its immediate turn off, it would be funny. That's what we probably should do is put pictures to this for all the things y'all said. Y'all funny, though. Y'all funny, though. And y'all really make me think about these viral videos where people talk about... Do I look like a cheesecake factory person? Because one of the things I think he said to a woman that has no job, and I, I'm with him. I mean, people can have no job being between employment. That's for each individual person to make your decision on. But what baffles me is people that have no jobs and you be sitting up there, do I look like a cheese factory type of girl? I'm just like that, and you're on the air. Honey, you dressing in Fashion Nova. Really? And you expect him to get you a thousand dollar a plate dinner and you in Fashion Nova? Girl, make it make sense. Make it match. You're not one of them girlies. If you're a paid, you know what, worker, just say that. 
if you're a gold digger, just say that. But to me, it looks like he maybe should have took you to McDonald's. But anyway, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna go there. Say that for on film. I'm just saying. But yeah, I just wanted to come in today to tell y'all, y'all finding. Keep it going. We will still keep asking questions. And of course, you know, you can always go to Alicia Brown Productions. Find us on our Fruition Publishing page. You can always check in about Conscious Dating TV show. Link will be in this post. And we're going to keep asking questions. But I just want y'all to know, y'all funny. Thank you for providing some good entertainment. While we have some wonderful dialogue. And for those of you in the area, I'll see you at the casting call. It's coming up. Bye-bye for now, guys.